Hello YouTube and welcome to Destination LEGO and welcome to a LEGO Ultra Agents set review. So today we have the Tremor Track Infiltration and this is set 70161. This is for ages 7 to 12, comes with a piece count of 241 pieces. It retails here in the UK for £17.99. That's from the LEGO Store or the LEGO Store Online. And in the United States, this is $19.99. And a quick look at the rear of the box there. You can see some of the features and functions that come on this set. So let's take our first look at the set itself. So there we go. There is the Tremor Track Infiltration, obviously along with the minifigures. And indeed, the control is some sort of control center there. Indeed, it is the main frame database and that features an explode function. And inside it, there is an ultra chip. We'll take a look at that in a second. Let's have a first look at our minifigures. Okay, so here's our two minifigures. We have Tremor and Agent Jack Fury. So let's have a look at Agent Jack for Fury to begin with. And here he is, and as you can see, he comes with a little flick shooter gun there and a shield. Let's just remove those from his hands now. Okay, so here is the little shooter gun. It's one of these ones where you just press down there on the mechanism and that will shoot out. So let's do that now. Let's shoot it there. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Let's shoot that. And there we go, and there it flies out. And what we've done is we've stored the spare on the rear. It doesn't show as being there, but I'll just put it on there for the storage sake. But that just simply slots into the front and then fire down like so. And we have our shield with the sticker on the front, which we can see there. Pretty cool little shield. Or one piece. Okay, let's move that out of the way. And there is Agent Jack Fury. Let's do a 360 view of him to begin with. And back round to the front. So you can see that front torso printing going down into the legs. And indeed, if we spin it round to the back again, there we can see that rear torso printing with this black hair piece remove that so you can see the face printing if we spin him around you can see it is a dual sided face so there we go that is agent jack fury so let's take a look at our next minifigure and that is tremor so here he is here is tremor so let's start by taking a 360 view of him and a good side view there, those huge, awesome fists. And back round to the front. So I am just going to grab hold of him. Let's take off this armour. And just while I'm on this, because um, this is actually a unique piece. It is a metallic armour. So this is at present a unique piece for this minifigure. It's a cool metallic looking piece actually, which we can see that. Should put that down to the side. There we can see the face printing. Obviously we have the red visor to spin them around. And again, indeed it is a dual sided face. Just while we're on there, we can see the rear torso printing. And again, it has a bit of a metallic shine and effect to that and round to the front just lower these fists again that metallic looking printing on the front torso down into the legs and indeed on the feet we also have printing on the feet it's a pretty cool minifigure this and if i just raise one of those fists there they are rather big and cool looking now these do come off i just Spin around there, hopefully you can see where that's held. So let's just remove that quite simply. As you can see there is a normal minifigure hand. And there is that fist piece there. Okay, so that is Tremel. Okay, so next up let's have a look at the main frame database. 
So there we go, there is the mainframe database and there are a number of stickers on this. We can see a sticker there, alert on that tile there on the front. We can just see it says alert. Um, on the top, again another sticker that says data protected. And if we just spin that round, you see the rear view there and how that is built. Around to that side again and around to the front. So inside through that translucent blue piece there, we can see in there is the chip. Um, it has the exploding function, so that is the ultra chip inside. So to make this explode, if we just hold this down here, and this is just a case of let's just flick this piece here from the rear. Wrong way. So again, let's just flick it. And you can see that flies out of there. And that just simply tip that over like that. You can see how that mechanism works there. This just slides into this slot here, like so. And then you go in that just closes up shut like that again. So again, hold it down, just gonna hold this in place and just Flick that and it'll fly out. So that's the exploding function, or what that is obviously um, showing. So there we go, that is the database. Okay, and finally, the main feature, which is the tremor track. This is a sort of a tank, um, basically. Um, so let's start off by taking a 360 view of this. Okay, and back to where we started off. So I'm just gonna hold this and just tip it forward while we zoom out actually to get a better look inside there. Get back around again. So comes with this rather large aerial on the rear. You can see there. So two main features on this set. So first of all, we have flip fire missiles. So one there at the rear, uh, which you can see me there just tapping. And if I spin the set around, we can see the other there. Above it, we have spare flick file missiles and these are just clipped onto the side. So we all know these work, but this is just a case of push from the rear and it will flick out. So you can obviously flick those, hence the flick file missile um, terminology. Um, and that is just simply a case of Put it around that way. So now we're going to do the flicking action and just flick the rear of that. And there we get to see that shoot out. So the other main feature of this set, if I spin this around, we obviously again have these huge hands and fist pieces here. So we can adjust these fingers if we wanted to. So we could actually grab hold of something. So like for example, I suspect we can probably get them in there, but let's try. Yeah, if we wanted to, we can grab hold of the agent in the hand there, like so, quite easily. Let's just remove him, put him to one side there. Put these back into this fist formation, because the main feature here is this piece here. If we twist this back and forth, like so, then we can see, obviously, that punching, punching fist action now. Um, obviously, we can see again that there so pretty cool um, little feature there for this little tank um, finally um, as we can see there as I'm moving this along this is on tracks which we can see there some pretty chunky tracks on the rear on the underside rather again they can be moved along so pretty cool pretty awesome looking okay finally this is to be operated by tremor obviously himself so we have a little put him in the seat in position and just at the rear here we have his little seating area so if we sit him down in there like so so we can now see that he is actually sat in position and can actually control this tank now and drive it and obviously operate it 
to um, get the agents. So let's put him up in front. Let's see how that works. So there he is now right in um, way of that fist. So what's he going to do? Whoa! So we got him. So there we go, that's my review complete for the Ultra Agent Tremor Track Infiltration set 70161. Hopefully you did enjoy this review. If you did, please go ahead and give it that big thumbs up. Any comments, questions, feedback, as always, leave them down in the comments section. And if you haven't done so already, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel, Destination Lego. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers!